you live through this, you get one more chance. Five million or Tony takes a turn of it now. Jay. Run a profile on this woman. Her name's Mary Flynn. Sure. Is she in some kind of trouble? It's the Joker. And maybe more. Something about this woman doesn't add up. I'm gonna work on the obstacle course. Run Alfred's training program for me. Sure thing. Master Bruce, I hope you're managing to scrape by despite my absence. I took the liberty of recording one of our training sessions. Trust you will find it useful. 
We'll begin with a bit of back grapple training. If you'll be so kind as to activate the grapple. Very good, sir. Once the grapple is aimed at a suitable target, the crosshairs turn red and you may fire at your leisure. Of course, you're still free to move about while the grapple is activated. When the cord has entirely retracted, the grapple will automatically release. I'd strongly suggest retrieving your equipment from the higher platforms before we continue with training. uncovered some back cuffs. Well done. A little restraint can go a long way. You can avoid a fight altogether by sneaking up behind an adversary with a pair of cuffs. Also, by leaving him cuffed once you've knocked a criminal down, you can be sure he won't come back to pester you. Ah, good, Batarangs. Of course, you know how useful they are. Much better for disarming an enemy than knocking him out. Of course, with a little diligence and a handful of batarangs, you probably could render a grown man unconscious, but it is a bit wasteful. Very good, sir. You may want to use your cape for the return to ground level. By stretching it taut, you can glide quite a distance. Show, Master Bruce. We'll move right along now to the use of the Batarang. To strike with enough precision to knock a weapon from a man's hand, you'll need to take careful aim. With a little practice, you can strafe around your target without losing your aim. Once you have your target in your sights, the crosshairs turn red. You can practice your aim on these posts. Aim for the bullseyes. Very good, Master Bruce. Perhaps now we should brush up on your fisticuffs, as it's so often the only common language between criminals and justice. Of course you have a wide variety of the martial arts at your disposal. Perhaps you could practice a few attacks on the training post. You may find some of your opponents a smidgen more clever than a metal post. A healthy defense will make sure you're still standing after your opponent has been defeated. There are few men in the world as skilled in as wide a variety of martial arts as you, Master Bruce. But there is only so much you could practice at home. Nicely done, Master Bruce. But fighting is not always the healthiest option. As you well know, with deep shadows and a little caution, you can slip past most opponents without resorting to your fists. If you hug the walls, you'll have a better chance of staying in the shadows and out of sight. By staying close, you can peer around corners without revealing yourself. 
A little foresight and a batarang or two can be a striking combination, as you can take aim around corners without revealing your position. Let's try a small test. Use your stealth skills to slip past this sentry post. If you can turn it off by the switch on the opposite side of the room, you'll have beaten the challenge. Very good, sir. We'll move on to one final training sequence, this one to perfect your freefall. The challenge is to use your cape to slow or speed your fall as necessary. Trust yourself to grapple back to safety before you reach bottom. Wonderful, sir. That completes our training. You've done splendidly, Master Bruce. You never cease to amaze. I pity the criminal who comes between you and justice. If you need any more assistance, you'll always find Batgirl dutifully answering her communicator. Find anything? Just questions with no answers. Try me. Well... Toby was reported kidnapped to the police four days ago. Before that, nothing. Didn't go to school. Wasn't even born. Same goes for Mary. I've got an address on the apartment she just moved into, and that's it. That's impossible. Nothing else at all? Not a thing. I don't know if you can save these people, Batman. They're already ghosts. in the drink. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, well, boss, a couple of guys and I were thinking that since we're fighting the bat and all that, maybe we're not getting paid as much as we should. I mean, when I was working for the Penguin, we were getting benefits in a 401k.
This isn't what you think, Batman. Joker's after you. He's got. He took my. Toby? Yes, Toby! My son! He took my son! He says he'll kill him unless I can pay him five million! I don't have that kind of money! Are you sure he has the boy? He sent me this. Said if I didn't believe him, he would send. would. Oh, no! Oh. <laughs> Take this. Press the button if you're ever in trouble. Any evidence that Mary could come up with five million dollars? No way, that's insane. Joker's insane, but not stupid. He must know something about Mary we don't. So what do we do? We play along until we get to the bottom of this. The transmitter you gave Mary last night. It's coming from Gotham Bridge. Right. <laughs> 